I'm dramatic. I'm feisty. I'm funny. I'm Kia, and I'm an actor. This is a show about all my business, starting one, being one, and taking care of mine. Over the next 12 months, I've got 12 goals to achieve, and you'll see it all. The good, the bad, and everything in between. Okay, so guys, I know it's been a minute, and I first have to apologize for leaving you for so long without any episodes, but the reality is like, this business makes you like, second guess yourself and question what you're doing and why you're doing it, and if anyone is watching, and if anyone cares, and long story short, I've been in a funk. That's not the person that I committed to being when I quit my day job. And hopefully we'll catch back up and even if I'm having the worst week of my life, I will post something. So without further ado, here's week 9, 10, 11, and 12, which, you know, up and down, but hey, it's my life. So I started off my week at my local copy and print shop. This is where I get all of my headshots and resumes reprinted. It's kind of a family owned business and they make you feel like family as soon as you walk in the door. They hang all of the actors headshots all around the shop. So when you come in, you kind of just look around and get inspired seeing how we're all here doing the same thing and coming to the same place. It's like a big family in me. So then I headed over to my office away from home, Denny's, to meet Scott. We're researching casting directors and projects that we're interested in. People really have no idea how much work goes into being an actor. You're your own business, so you have to do all the research and branding yourself. I haven't even looked at this uh, script really yet. By the time I got home, I only had about an hour to learn all the lines for my shoot the next day, and there were about 12 pages of them. Luckily, I memorized super quickly. So after running the lines a few times in the makeup chair with my co-star, I was ready to shoot. Two cameras a day. This is a big business. I'm used to shooting on the phone. <laughs> Today's sketch is a pretty long one. Our co-star Wayne is playing three different characters, Kevin Hart, DC Youngfly, and Lil Wayne, which is a lot for any actor, but he managed to pull it off. As soon as we wrapped, I headed to another room to film a completely different sketch with Simone and Kiron, where I met Chavisia an actress whom I would work with again really soon. Now you know I couldn't let the week go by without getting in my dance class. Here's a mini snippet of our Marsha Ambrosia's choreography. Today I'm spending time at one of my favorite spots in North Hollywood, the Republic of Pi. I'm having a catch-up session with my sorority sister, the co-creator and star of the amazing web series, Hello Cupid, Ashley Blaine Featherson. After a much needed four hours of girl talk, I decided to stay and finish editing an episode. Just had no idea that that would take my entire day. Amen. It was light outside. Now. a gloomy week here in Los Angeles, at least it looks like it's kind of shaping up to be that way. What I kind of want to focus on this week is my reel. A reel for an actor is the thing that shows like little mini clips of your work. And I just need to update it with scenes that are more like, that play to my strengths. So this is my newest talent crush, Margot Bingham. For the past few weeks, I've been obsessed with watching Boardwalk Empire. I cannot believe that I waited until this show was over to finally get involved. It's totally in my dream lane. So while researching stuff from my reel, it just didn't get any better than this scene between her and Michael K. Williams. My mother was a prostitute. She was murdered. 
I saw it. She always put me in the closet. It's no big surprise that this would be a dream scene for me to perform. It's a period piece. It's dramatic and character driven. It's an intimate moment of revelation between two lovers. And I think that's where some of the most amazing work is done on screen. Man screams so loud. Sounded like you got lit on fire. She didn't take no miss. No. No, she did not. Guys, you might want to tune out. PMS is the worst thing to ever happen to the female species. Like, I can't explain it enough. This entire week, I have felt like crap and done nothing. I just get really sad and emotional. I feel like I'm by myself a lot. I don't, I don't like feeling sad like this because I can't work. This week really sucks. And I have not done anything to make me feel like I'm an actor this week. So today, I'm filming in Culver City. Well, that feeling didn't last long because this weekend I got scheduled to act. Remember the web series that I manifested in episode two? Well, we're back at it. In this scene, I'm playing a yoga instructor. We're filming on location at a park and though outdoor shoots can be challenging, I'm just really excited to be working. I'm like, I'm telling you, like, it's like when you get out of bed and you stub your toe in the morning and then your whole day spirals out of control. Well, that's what my week has felt like. But I got up early this morning to get dressed, to get all the way to this location to work on this web series. But they never shot my scene. I missed my goddaughter's birthday party this weekend to film this project. I just don't even want to talk about it. <sighs> so, new week, new attitude. I'm meeting up with Scott to go over goals for the week, and he feels the need to show me this new web series that is making major waves in the industry. It's called Money and Violence. To be honest, it's not really my kind of show, so I'm having a hard time understanding the cult following they've amassed. But it got me thinking about what it is that I really want the industry to see me as. I'm so known for comedy, but my passion is drama. So I decided to take votes from the people closest to me on what they think my break-in lane should be. I'm leaning toward drama. I think it's just so brilliant and drama. Yeah. Of course you can play comedy. Like drama is almost effortlessly. So, what did this little poll do for my clarity? Nothing. Turns out people think I can do both pretty equally, which says a lot about my ability. And maybe, just maybe, I don't have to choose. Maybe I'm good enough to do it all. And with that in mind, I headed over to the ADD headquarters to film yet another comedic sketch, a parody of a sneaker release interview with Kanye West. Now, as much as I love comedy, often I find myself having reservations about whether or not I'm being looked at as a real actor over here. And almost as if the universe knew I needed some words of affirmation. Hello, Kia. Kia Roberts is the best actress I know. Right. So I'll give you guys one guess what kind of part I'm going into audition for today. Okay. Would you like peanuts? Water? Coffee? Tea? So I just got off the metro where this commercial audition is going to be and it's not the most savory part of town. Believe it or not, commercial auditions require quite a bit of energy, especially if you don't have a car. Today, it took me two and a half hours to dress the part and commute to this location. If this was a theatrical audition, this is where I usually get really nervous. And I start thinking about all the other people who are going to be in there and if they're going to look more the part than me. But this is a commercial, so I'm not really tripping. And I've got my rent for March, but it sure would be nice to get it paid another way. 
The craziest part of the commercial audition process is that the actual audition, which today takes place in a simulated airplane, takes about 30 seconds, but could pay your bills for the next 30 days or more. But then, just like that, it's over, and you're back in traffic, or in my case, on the train. So this is my friend and line sister, Carlene. When she pops into town from New York, she usually makes time to get in a workout with me. And today we're hitting the well-known Runyon Canyon. Carlene is a successful business owner and entrepreneur whose journey is pretty admirable. As we hiked our very unstable path, we got a chance to catch up on life, love, and careers. But something really eye-opening happened. It bothered me so much that I stopped recording. As we were enjoying the scenic overlook at the top of the mountain, we met a guy who engaged us in conversation. When he heard I was an actor, he asked a question that really rubbed me the wrong way. He said, oh, an actor, so what do you want to do with your life? I felt so belittled and devalued until I realized people don't get it. Actors just want to act. That is what we want to do with our lives. And if at the end of every day, I can feel like I got a chance to tell a story, that's enough for me, and that's okay. In this city of big dreams, staying true to mine is living life to its fullest. Okay, so I know that was a lot for one episode, but I didn't want you guys to miss anything. Even though this was kind of a rough month for me, I learned something about myself. I'm a collaborator. I'm more of a team player than a solo act. It's not that I can't do things by myself. I just do them better when I'm with other people that get me creatively. The first step to fixing a problem is identifying it. So now I just gotta tighten up my circle and surround myself with other motivated creative types who wanna see me win as much as I do. I'm Kia, I'm an actor, and for now, that's the business.